My name is Elena and I'm here to talk about medieval castles in ancient Britain. Some of the rooms in a castle are the great hall to greet guests, a kitchen to make food, a buttery for butter, a food storage area to store food, and a solar which is like the living room for the queen. Some details like traditional decor include rugs, tapestries, swords, or great weapons, royal colors, and white walls, which were covered with paints made out of powdered and boiled minerals mixed with egg white, resin, and oil. Besides oriental mauves, plant mauves, and floral decoration elements, castles were minimally furnished. One of the reasons that castles were made is to show that is that castles were both for defense and to show status. To show that someone was wealthy or had power, they often had great halls for gathering people together for meals or special events. Sometimes people who weren't invited invited could come in and watch the gathering. They had private chambers so they could get away from all the people, and their private chambers had bedrooms so they could sleep. There were kitchens and stables. A common type of decoration was a tapestry, which was a woven or needlework art created from fabrics and fabric and thread. These would be very detailed and often depict different scenes, such as Bible stories. Sometimes there's a purpose for castles. For instance, some castles are residence for a lord, duke, or king. It can be a place that offers significant protection. And if it's only one or the other, that would be problematic. A grand building with no defensive features would be a palace, chateau, or country house. And the people living there would be fairly much like a sitting duck. Three or more stories is how many floors can be in a castle. A servant got hired in a castle by... Those who worked in a castle could include stewards, cooks, maids, butlers, and other workers. Those born into a noble or wealthy family might have had the opportunity to become a servant in a castle, while others may have entered service through apprenticeships or being hired directly. Some interesting facts about castles is in these castles, the chest was the most used furniture instead of wardrobes or closets, and sometimes as chairs too. Wardrobes were not spread generally until the end of the Middle Ages. Their use increased when clothes did not have enough space in the chest anymore. In winter, it was difficult to heat thick walls, so some rooms were ins- better insulated than others. A layer of wild boar skin was fix- fixed to a wall and covered with wooden panels. Besides panels, a tapestry also appeared and came into fashion over the course of time, introducing instructive and entertaining stories. Inhabitants of the castle slept in belchin beds, a bed that has some some curtains around it. They climbed four large steps to go to the bed. As hot air rises upwards, the bed is always located in a warmer place. There is at least one toilet on each floor, which was placed in the closet, close to the built on the outer walls. It consists of a stone tablet with a large hole in the middle. Medieval rooms were rather dark, especially in the winter. Before inventing the window pane, windows were covered with wooden panels and a parchment in order to insulate them. Later, the appearance of leaded windows raised the comfort level of castles significantly. They contained round-shaped glasses quarries, but spread very slowly because they were too expensive. However, window panes were a big step forward because they let in much more light than the earlier solutions did. They became fashionable only in the 15th through 16th centuries. Afterward, their production was industrialized and they became affordable for the lords of of castles. How people, people built castles is despite needing a lot of money to be able to afford the luxury of building a castle. Living in the castle might be it today might seem rather miserable due to how underdeveloped they were as buildings. During the Middle Ages, no matter how the interior spaces were decorated, rooms were less furnished and darker, especially in winter, than we are used to today. The most popular castles in Europe were built on high cliffs. Besides the wonderful views, this had the advantage that the approaching enemies could be spotted as well as rough terrain making their access harder to the enemy. It was very expensive to build stone castles. So, in the, during the Middle, Middle Ages, wood was u- normally usually used instead of stone. 
During, in terms of heating and insulating, we can see how underdeveloped these early times were by the fact that wooden inhabitants of wooden castles built their living room above the styes, an animal pen, trying to benefit from the natural heat that animals' bodies emitted. Although few written records survive about Middle Evil architecture, it is certain that one of the most significant tools in construction in in the 13th century, and one of the most important archaeologist archi architectural inventions was the treadwheel crane. It consisted, of, it consisted of a large wheel that was driven by two people who stepped inside the wheel and walked continuously on the surface of, of it, like a hamster wheel, but for two people. Their weight forced the wheel to turn. Thus, the turning wheel pulled the construction materials, for example, a stone for the wall with an aid of ropes and cogwheels. A crane with operator was also needed to drive this tool. This crane represented huge progress compared to the earlier times because three people can do tasks that previously needed a dozen. Nevertheless, building a castle remained a laborsome and cost-demanding task. How they feasted. Besides different events, castle inhabitants organized feasts with guests, elegant masquerades known as bachelines and banquets. The guests danced and listened to the music. Their entertainment was ensured by the comedian of the period, a court clown, who practiced this profession, profession for money. At the feast, the noblemen of castles often ate venison, which they had hunted. The main course was, for example, wild boar, peasant, quail, crane, or swan. In the world of medieval castles, people do not know the tomato, potato, or paprika. These only reached Europe at the end of the 15th century after the discovery of America. Instead of refrigerators, they used a fridge hollowed in the wall to keep food fresh. Thank you, valued listeners. I hope that if I do make more episodes on other parts of the world other than ancient Britain, I hope you will like that too. This is all for now. Thank you for listening to podcasts on ancient Britain.